Merry Christmas! One of the funnest things that I love to do during the holiday season is just spend some time with Sherry in the kitchen, cooking with my honey. Well, today we're gonna do some cooking with honey, with my honey, and I'd like to invite you to join us in our kitchen. Come on! Oh boy! So Sherry has roped me into working in the kitchen today, guys, and I'm kind of excited. Most of my YouTube videos are about beekeeping, but this one is, we're gonna talk about honey. What do we got in store, Sherry? Well, we're gonna make some Christmas snowballs. So are Ooh, you ready? I am, because okay. this, this looks like it would be part of a it good is, snowball. It is, it is. Right. Okay, but What's we gotta start with an apron first. Let's get your, let's oh, get your apron I don't know if I need an apron. On here. I'm not gonna be that messy, am I? Well, I don't know, you might be. <laughs> this is like tying a bee suit in the back. I'm used to it doing is. that. It is, you don't hardly know how to do it. Wait a minute, bee suits, are you not, are you, they wrap around you like this. There we go. You can wrap it around. No, that's a bee suit. There you go. Okay, That good. looks nice. You look very festive. I'll put it in a square now. Don't you think <sighs> he looks good? Oh, I think he go. looks good. Well, these are Christmas snowballs. And I got to tell you, first of all, what it goes on in Christmas okay. snowballs. Yeah. But we're going to have two and a quarter cups of flour. We're going to have a pound of butter. Whoa, that sounds good. <laughs> that's wow. a lot of butter, isn't that's it? That's a lot of butter. But it's just Christmas, so that's okay. Hey, isn't it's okay. It? Once a that's, year, yeah. eat a pound of butter. Exactly. Why not? We need two tablespoons of honey. Good. Now, I want to tell you something about the honey, David, because okay. if you get really dark honey, which is what I have right here, it's going to have a different taste, believe oh, it or yeah. not, than honey yeah. that is very, very light. Light honey tastes kind of flowery kind of fruity yeah and not real strong no it's not very very strong at all it's, dark it's, colored it's honey very sweet, is very strong yeah but the darker you go i think it gets a more robust dark flavor yeah. almost like molasses so yeah. the reality is you know sometimes you might use a certain kind of honey that you don't really like with yeah, it, it changes the flavor. It changes the of flavor. So just yeah. just try it with a different kind of honey. But we've yeah. got a very dark honey here. Two tablespoons of honey. We're going to use about a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to use about a half to three fourths cup of uh, whatever nuts you like. What are we using? Well, we're using walnuts, but you oh. know you could use pecans. You could use okay. anything like walnuts, that. Walnuts, yeah. And uh, a little bit of uh, powdered sugar. Yeah. And Bourbon. When I was a beekeeper in Ohio, I actually yeah. made extra money collecting walnuts and selling them to the Amish. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how desperate I was. was I <laughs> found some walnuts. Can you give me a dollar? Give me some money, please. <laughs> but we're going to use bourbon and we're going to use whiskey. Oh, wow. That sounds good. It does, doesn't it? So, I don't get the whole snowball thing. There's no snow out there. I know. Yet. That's why we have to make our own. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to make no, snow. There's no snow out there. So we're <sighs> going to start with the cinnamon whiskey. Just so you know, I am not a cook. You are not, you're not a cook, I but you make I, good eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon, steaks on the grill. That's about my limit. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> that's eggs enough. and bacon and steak. What else yeah. do you need? All right. So we're going to start with the cinnamon whiskey. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to pour it and drink it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm all for testing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you do with the cinnamon whiskey, folks. It doesn't go in the recipe. Okay. It goes in That's you. a fancy Christmas <laughs> cup. Look at that. Wow. I love so that I, cup. I like that. I like cinnamon whiskey. Mmm. That's, That's very good. good. It's got a That's lot really of cinnamon in it. Woo! Christmas <laughs> time's coming. It's got a lot of cinnamon, like cinnamon in it. Cinnamon in it. The more I drink, the worse I'm going to say cinnamon. Are you going to start cooking? No, I'm, I'm drinking. <laughs> Where's you the chair? I'll watch you. You drink and you watch me. If I drink any <laughs> alcohol, my face turns red. I like Santa Claus. I become Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Okay, so let's start. You're going to start with the nuts. All right, let's Okay, start. and I'm going to have you Ooh. start chopping them up. We I want, don't want to we slice wanna, my finger we off. We want them really, really small. Now, some of you might have those fancy uh, food processors, and it would be just fine to put them in a food processor. But you're a good I don't cook. know. I, I've never had a lot of those... Um, fancy mm -mm, yeah, machinery no. to do, you know, so I do everything by hand. You're a really good muscle, cook. But so is there a <laughs> trick to this? Just bang, 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 and they go flying everywhere? Well, you just need to start Are you worried? Chopping. I am worried. <laughs> oh, no, I'm doing good. I, I don't want you to chop up your, your Oh, no, your my hands. fingers. No, my fingers are there on you, top of the blade. There you go. Make them really small, though, because, you know, they're they're just, they're going to be just little two-inch balls, and you don't want somebody sitting there, you know. Breaking, wow, I'm really good at this. Breaking a tooth in the middle of your, your Christmas Eve I'm going to give up beekeeping like and start chopping walnuts. 
Yeah. I'm much better at that. I, I like to watch you do that. Do you? Yeah. Well, good. That's fun. You can watch this video if it gets published. <laughs> <laughs> so these walnuts, Sherry, they I think they're different. They seem to have a little candy coating on well, them. Well, you can get some candy coated ones if you want mm. to. Or you can make them plain. It doesn't, yep. it doesn't make a difference. Good job, David! Uh, Woo! We're going now. Worked up a sweat. So we need two and a quarter cups of flour. So let's mm. let's get that. That's what this is right here. So you are going to add your nuts to the flour. That's already measured. Yes, that is already measured. That's two and a quarter cups. You just need to put all the nuts in there. I'm just going to rake them Move off this the, board. The honey over there. So yeah. far, you're doing really good. It's hard to mess up so far. <laughs> I can mess up though. <laughs> when it comes to cooking, I've tried, and wow, I can really. Oh, no, you're doing up. good. Here, let's let's move this let's move this out of the way. All right, so we have got this. Now we need to add the butter. Ooh, how are we gonna do so that? So we have got a cup of butter. A cup of butter. A cup of butter here, and you can use it into a blender. You can again put it in a food processor. You can use any of your fancy machinery, but I'm gonna make him use his muscles for this. Okay. Oh, this is really hard to get that butter mixed in there. <laughs> That's why you wanted my muscles. I think I feel like carpal tunnel coming on. There you go. You that have, means you're really doing it good. You have good workman comp. <laughs> I'll make a carpal tunnel claim. Oh, you, oh. And it's back in, people. <laughs> Nobody escapes my bowl on my watch. <laughs> good job, David. All right, while you're mixing that, I need you to put in about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Can you get your hands in there and you do can, that? You can, as then long as they're your really hands. clean. Aren't we you gonna, take off your wedding rings first. Aren't you gonna cook this anyway? Yes. So if your hands don't matter, what am I gonna do with this? A uh, quarter teaspoon of salt. Oh! So can you figure out which one that is? Well, a quarter teaspoon, probably this one. What does it say? One quarter. <laughs> okay, you need a little bit of salt. You always need salt. Boom! When you bake. And of course, you all know that when you bake, you've got to get your measurements exact. When you cook, you don't have to so much. People think that with their Winter Be Kinds, too. They, they remix the Winter Be Kind recipe, and they think they have to get it just exactly right. And that's true. <laughs> <laughs> if you get too much water in your Winter Be Kind recipe, it won't set up right. If you get too much sugar, it won't set up right. If you cook it too long, it won't set up right. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing good. I don't feel like I'm mixing. I, I feel like the... That. I feel like somebody's going to get one that's nothing but salt. You know? <laughs> like, wow, this is salty. Just well, have them drink not. this and they'll yeah. never notice. I should have sprinkled the salt all around. Nah, you're good. You're good. Go ahead and add your honey. These things are really good. Honey daubers. Honey daubers. And they come, I don't know, they come in all shapes and sizes, wooden ones. I, I like the stainless steel ones because you can wash them so much better. Oh, right? yeah. I think. And, and they're good if you just need to sprinkle it, you know twirl it on your ice cream or something like yep. that. But we don't need it for something like this. But an idea, if you can never get the honey out of your bowl, is to coat it with a little bit of spray oil. Mm. And, it, and it comes out really easily that oh, way. Okay. But I need all of that in there. It's about two tablespoons. Of well, honey. nothing's happening. <laughs> nothing's still happening. Well, you can, you can use your... Oh. You can use your spoon there. <laughs> Not used to using utensils when I work with honey. Oh. Get it all in there really good. I think that's going to taste really good because it's the, the darker kind. But again, you might like well, the, you're the lighter the, kind. Well, you're the but. cook, but I would say I'd use a lot more honey. You'd use more honey? Oh, there. yeah. i put a lot more. <laughs> I'm not influencing you, you. Well, I think we need to put the bourbon in, too. So I think that's... I we're going to get some sugar. Oh, yeah. We're going to get I'll some sugar. Swap honey. I'll swap bourbon for honey any day. You can do a tablespoon or two of... So do you honey. like bourbon, Sherry? I don't, now, David. I'm not a big bourbon fan, but some of my friends, they love bourbon. That's their drink of choice. Here, I'm going to switch you out into a spoon. Yeah, I'm not, this is giving out on me. I need more muscle, though. There we go. Did you add any cinnamon whiskey yet? No, we're drinking the cinnamon whiskey. <laughs> Are you, have you added any to my mix? I, I added the bourbon. Oh, the bourbon, that's uh -huh. right. Okay. And if you need it, if you feel like it needs a little bit more, you can you can add more bourbon. That's 
perfectly fine. Sherry says that's fine. <laughs> Sherry says you can add more bourbon. <laughs> Now, I'm going to have David actually get in there with his hands now. So oh, you, no. you go and wash your hands oh, because I don't want... Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, just get in there and use your hands. It's fine to it do feels, that. It feels... <laughs> it's probably cool. It's probably, it probably feels really cool, doesn't it? Does it does feel kind of nice, yeah. Hey, David, um, what is your favorite Christmas memory? Oh, I have a lot of them. Yeah, I, I have one. well, I have one that I don't think I've ever told anybody on YouTube about this one, but oh my gosh, it kind of ended bad. We were out sledding, and it was we lived in Ohio. It was very snowy, and I had a toboggan, and I was probably thirty years old, thirty five maybe, and you know the kids were on the small stuff. Well, I climbed to the highest mountain <laughs> in Ohio, and got on top with my toboggan. Oh, did you like? Shine it like like um, uh, Chevy Chase does in yeah, National Lampoon. Put was that special ready. oil oh, on it. <laughs> it seemed like that's what happened. And I started down this real steep, snowy, icy hill. I was going a thousand miles an hour. Well, when I came to the bottom, it had like a little. It was a road, like an asphalt road at the bottom. Yeah. And I don't know why I didn't, you know, think about that. So what happened was I went through a little ditch, you know, water drainage by that road, and I got airborne. And you were there. You were there. So I got airborne and went way up in the air, and I came right down to my bottom. Oh! Right down to my bottom. There was literally a feeling of being electrocuted all through my body. And you know what I did next? Mm, you don't I don't remember? remember. I don't remember. I screamed as loud as I could. Oh, you did? I did. It hurt so bad. Screamed like a little girl. No, like a like a monster in a cave. <laughs> my scream, I could hear it coming back to me miles away. <laughs> I was like, ah, <laughs> and you know, I I didn't. Every time I sat down after that for a month, I don't hurt. think your tailbone's ever been the same, has it? You know, we recovered, but it took a long time. And I'm sure if they X-rayed it, they'd be like, ooh, how did you break your tailbone oh. and your lower back bones? Oh my gosh, it hurt oh so my bad. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, you're better now. So. That's not a real. That's not a real happy story, is it? Ah, oh, it's no big deal. Oh, okay. Hey, this worked out pretty good, Sherry. It did. It did. Now, we're going to chill this. Chill David. it? We're going to chill it. Just put it outside. It was like 15 we, degrees. It is very cold outside. A couple of hours, you know, you could do this the day before and come back and do it the next day. But we're going to put it and we're going to chill it in the refrigerator. All right. This has been chilled That's for a cold. couple of hours. Wow. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our trusty little ice cream scoop. What I'm actually going to do is we're going to actually put it back in the bowl here. And then all this is going to do is make sure that we have the balls are about the similar shapes. Right. So you're just going to, you don't want you're just going to dig in here. To not look like no, you want them all to be the same, yeah. you know? So we're just going to put one ball in here and then you're going to scoop them out and you're just going to put them on here. That wasn't perfect. No, Should I roll but, it up? Yes, and then we're and then we're going to roll them up. Okay. And then we're going to put them back on. And this is just parchment paper, just parchment. on a regular coffee, a, a coffee, a, a cookie sheet. This is what it's the just parchment paper Declaration of Independence sheet. was written on. Yeah. Or? So I'm going to let you do that. So Sherry, do you have any because, cool Christmas memories? Well, I just remember, you know, the things I like about Christmas the most, you know, is the music and uh, yeah. I'm, in a, I'm in a community choir. And so every year we have a big Christmas concert for the That's community nice. and people come out and we all sing together. And, and I, back in the day, we used to go Christmas caroling. Oh, yeah, that was fun. And somebody would have, uh, you know, little lanterns and we'd drink hot chocolate on the way. And, cool. uh, you know, just those kinds of things. It, it's not, my memories aren't presents or anything like that so much yeah. as just uh, just feeling, you know, being with family and and um, being around each other and just eating and laughing and, and those kinds of things. Isn't that fun? It is fun. Yeah. You know, raising, we have six children and uh, all five are adults now with their own children. Mm -hmm. I have one teenager still at home. One teenager at home. Mm -hmm. So it was always fun. Uh, still is with Christian at home, but it's always fun when you have young children at home. They loved Christmas. Of course, now they come over as adults and bring their children with them. <laughs> grandchildren. We have 13 grandchildren. Did I get that right? We did. We did. <laughs> you did. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we, we have 13 grandchildren, so. 
they're a lot of fun. No, they are, yeah. What are the ages of the grandchildren? Like, not all of them, but oldest to youngest. They go from 20 all the way down to uh, the baby, I think is eight months. Oh yeah, Seth so. and Leah. Yeah, so yeah. every age in wow. between there. So we have teenagers and we've got preteens and we've got yep. kids in elementary school and then we've got a couple of babies in the family. So That's it's always cool. fun. I'm good at making balls, I guess. Yeah, there I am. Okay, so we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 for about 10, 12 minutes. Kind of depends upon your oven. Everybody Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Yeah. I have so many people that watch my video that are on Celsius. We're sorry, you'll have to do it. You'll have to figure that out. So awesome. we're gonna put them in the oven and then we'll bring them back as soon as they're done. All right. Hey, hon, look at this. While those are cooking in the oven, somebody sent us something. Wow. I know it's- Oh, it's got my name on it. It does. I, I, <laughs> want, I wanted you to help me open it. <laughs> got my name on it. <laughs> Sherry got something. One time I opened up something that somebody sent to David and Sherry, and Sherry was like, well, why didn't I get to open it? Yeah. So I saved it for you. That's good. And I think it's one of our subscribers, one of our viewers from the YouTube channel, because they sent it to the PO box. So, you want to open it or you want yeah. me to open it? Yeah! All right, let's see what's in here. Thinking coffee mug, maybe. Oh, it's from, uh, let's see, who is it from? Does it say? Yeah, it says Yvonne from Washington, the state of Washington. Oh, Thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. <laughs> Ahead of time. Ooh, it's got a little nice little note. Uh, I'll read that in a minute. Oh, we'll yeah. Read that later. <laughs> a coffee mug? I don't know. It's a. Wow, look at that. It's a doghouse. That's a pretty box, it is isn't it? Beautiful, Yvonne. Yeah, Thank it you. It is. Wow, what could be in it? You want to take a guess? Uh, I have no idea. I'm thinking no candy. No idea. I'd say candle. Can candy? Candle. Yeah, my guess was candy. Oh, candy? Okay. <laughs> Sherry guesses candy. David guesses candle. What is it? Oh, it looks like honeycomb. Oh, you know, that is really neat because I Leaked enjoy tasting honey from all oh, over yeah. the country. So this is going to be from the state of Washington. Washington. Look at that. Wow. And I think it'd be fun to find out what that tastes like. How that it's is different beautiful. than what we have right here. That is pretty. It's a piece of nice. comb honey. I'm that sure it's nice. from her hive that I probably assisted nice. her. Oh, there's that more? That is cool. Oh, yeah. There's, wow. There's more? It's like Christmas Let's get time. This out. Thank you guys for sending us stuff. We oh, really do appreciate that's it. That's so nice. Well, this could be a coffee mug. Well, it might be. That is a beautiful box. And you a box, like boxes. I love boxes. He collects boxes, folks. Anytime something comes to me in a box, I save the box. You know, and they make boxes so beautiful oh, nowadays for they every do. little thing, and you hate to throw them out. I'm like, I can, Sherry's like, nope, we're throwing that box out. But I can put something in there. You've got thousands of saved boxes you're not using. He does. He saves them. Then I like will six save months these. later as I go through and I, I throw them all out. <laughs> I think this is a coffee mug. From cool. The, I think I have one from Washington, though. Well, maybe you'll have two from Washington now. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's us! <laughs> that's a picture of me and you. Oh my gosh. But look what it says. <gasps> David. Will you is marry that, me? Is that to you? Are you asking me to marry you? Or is <laughs> or is Yvonne asking you to marry her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, Yvonne, I'm sorry I can't marry you. I'm already married. But no, I think I think if I remember right, this was Oh, that's when you proposed to I me. I did. I proposed <laughs> to you. It was kind of like a uh, joke. I was like, I should propose to you. And so she remembered that video, oh, Yvonne did. That That's the cute. thumbnail. And That's she, cute. She said, you know, will you marry That's me? That's cute. That is so cute. Gosh, that is so nice. <laughs> That's super. Oh, That's thank some cool you. stuff. I'm going to try this honey. Look how clear that is. It is. It must be a spring honey. That's beautiful. Thank you, Yvonne. We appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm glad you did marry me. Sherry and I got married in 1980. 80. Wow. Very good. How many, is it your, how many years does it make? 
Whatever 22 minus 80 is. 42. Oh, 42. We've been married for 42 years. You don't even look that old. <laughs> well, while we clean up our mess here, maybe we should check on the I oven. I think they're done, David. I see and, smoke. And the gnats. <laughs> That's how David knows his cooking is done, is when he sees smoke in the kitchen. Yeah, my cooking is ready when I hear beep, 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 beep. Right. It's like, oh. ADT calls you. And yeah, says, hey. ADT. So, yeah, but let's go get those out of the oven. And we, you got to roll them in the powdered sugar immediately. Immediately? Immediately. I'll you be know, fast. So it sticks. So we let's can go. Do it. We got to do that. All right, let's go. Hot okay. out of the oven. We're done. Look, don't those look good? I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I made those. Okay, now for the really fun part. Okay, what's fun? So you're going to take these and you're going to roll them in the sugar. Are they hot? Yes, they're very, very hot. But you got to do it when they're hot because otherwise... Mm -hmm. Where do I put them? Right over here in this fancy little plate Ooh, we've got. Ooh, Christmas plate. Wow. Woo! This is going to taste good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm doing two at a time. Woo. Well, that was fun, Sherry. I like making a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> That's great. We did too. You did make a big mess in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> David, I'm proud of you. Look at this. Oh, thank snowballs. you. Snowballs. Honey thank snowballs. You. Honey snowballs. <laughs> I was in the kitchen. Let's see. How should I say this? Cooking with my honey. That's right. That's my honey and I'm cooking with my honey. That's right. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, we finished it. We got our Christmas snowballs. David did a fantastic job. Thank you. Good job. It's very easy with your help. Do I get to try one? Sure, go ahead. Oh yeah, I gotta try one. Hmm. <laughs> They're very warm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, don't really good. taste any bourbon, but it's very tasty. Good. Well, thanks Sherry for letting me help you cook in the kitchen. That was a great holiday treat. Thanks guys for watching. I got a great video to help you start beekeeping because if you want to use honey in your recipes like we did today, it's better than sugar. And I uh, got a great video on how to get started in beekeeping in 2023. Take a look at that video there and we'll see you next time. Thanks, that was good Sherry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are they? Okay. How many calories are in one? Thousand. Zero? <laughs> what if you took a thousand zero. and flipped it? Zero, 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 one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Drink enough whiskey and it'd be you see backwards, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink enough whiskey, then you look good just the way you are. That's right. <laughs> you don't care how much you eat if mm. you drink enough whiskey. Alright, that's the take.